absolutely love my new intro. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the new intro illustrations by Virtual by K on Instagram. Go check out that page. It's about to be popping over there. You don't want to miss it. Amazing services. Amazing, amazing. They can do everything for you. Pretty much everything. So go check it out. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so after a whole week of being entangled with all the drama and the mess that's going on on YouTube, I decided to lay low. But I'm back. I was inspired by Nino's home here on YouTube. Now, don't click off and go to his videos. I know everything on there looks amazing, but I was inspired by what he has and some of the stuff he has on there. It's like, you're going to have to go to the shop to buy some stuff because you don't have this in the house. So I decided to make an Oreo cookie, no bake cake that you can do at home because you probably have Oreo cookies lying about and that's about all you need about all you need and the other two things the other one thing that you need actually you most likely have at home so basically here's what i did right i took two packs of oreo cookies and um two packs of bootleg oreo cookies okay well we'll get to that in a second so basically i'm removing the cream filling but the mistake that i made this was on a very hot day so by the time i go home and just left it lying about um as you can see the oreos in the bag there the white stuff is still on there now i'm trying to pounce on it and bounce and pounce and punch all my frustrations of 2020 on this bag to make sure that the thing became like dust okay i wanted the oreo cookies to become like dust um, but that was very hard because the cream filling was still kind of stuck to it so in the future if you want to do this make sure that if it's on a hot day you put your oreo cookies in the fridge so that you can easily just kind of scoop uh, the filling off clean so that you, all you have left is the actual biscuit cookie part of it now i thought i was gonna just you know do this all with the hand but i was like mm -mm, not with this situation i'm gonna take the blender so i did that and it became really fine now what you see in there is baking powder one teaspoon and then i added a cup of milk and that might have been too much because as you can see it's very watery so i added some of the filling so that it would become a little thicker and i was showing you my new brabantia whisk because i was so happy i hadn't had a whisk in a very long time okay i was making do with forks and all kinds of things because i just didn't have a whisk okay so now i have my amazing easy glide pan which i got from john lewis and that's an amazing amazing pan it's not cheap but it's amazing it goes in the oven you can use it to bake cakes obviously uh it does a lot of things it goes in the oven with the handle and everything it's it's whew, it's one amazing cake uh, cake pan oh i got cake on my mind so anyway then i took some baking a baking sheet yeah and i was trying to cut it to fit the thing i was trying to do one quarter of the pan trying to make it fit the thing it wasn't really working but eventually did i kept cutting and cutting and it worked so that was the cake batter there as you can see so that's the pan and my pan is going to go on top of it that's how it's going to cook slash bake or whatever you want to call it so this is the bootleg Oreos, okay? I crushed that up and those were a little bit better in terms of the, the filling coming off a little easier. So then I put a little bit of yogurt because I wanted it to be thicker and I put like a quarter cup of milk just so that it becomes really like a cake batter and as you can see that worked. Put a little bit of cinnamon to my taste. Then I took some of the filling, no all of the filling actually this time because the batter was, no it was thick enough and I put some lotus. No, it's actually called Speculose. It's of the Lotus Biscuit, which sometimes you get with your coffee or tea when you go out to have some coffee or tea somewhere. And I just wanted that taste in between my cake. But as you can see, it's very, very, it was very watery. So that wasn't a good thing. Now I still poke this thing to see if it was done. It was totally done. As you can see, there's a little bit of water on the surface because of the, the condensation from the lid being on there, but you want the lid to be on there, okay? To make it really moist and soft. So then I, it was so easy to get this thing out. I just put another plate on top of it and then I flipped it over and boom, bam. Next thing you know, I had the cake, but it didn't really look too good. So I decided to take a little bit of very dark chocolate, a bit of butter, melt it up, put a little bit of, um, yeah, sugar. I was trying to cover it up with the sugar that wasn't really working. So I decided to cover it up with chocolate instead. And then it became this ooey gooey delicious. Mm, 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 mm. So delicious, but it's very thin as you can see. So if you want it to be higher, you need about five packs of Oreo, about 10 packs, and then this can become very expensive. So I just wanted to try this out, see what it tastes like. But as you can see, it's super moist, super delicious. Now the one with the filling turned out ridiculous because the filling was way too runny. Should have probably been in the fridge or even deep freezer, put that in the cake and just keep the, free the cake in the deep freezer and then maybe in the fridge later on, whatever you need to do to get it to set, because it looked ridiculous. Added some whipped cream here, mm, delicious. Okay, so this is the other cake, the one with the yogurt in there. It's actually not yogurt, it's quark, which is a different type of variant of the yogurt 
family um, here I'm just dapping up the excess condensation because we don't want it to be that moist now so I turn it around and yeah put the filling and everything but like I'm telling you that filling was not mm -mm, that filling was not great so if you want to do that filling you have to put it in the fridge or deep freezer so that it it yeah mm -mm, that did not look good let's bring back the old pictures yep that is much better so yeah that is how you make oreo cookie no bake cake if this went too fast for you i did it so fast because people don't have a long <laughs> attention span but everything that i said and didn't say is in the description box below make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right i will see you in the next video which will be very soon but in the meantime make sure you hit bump stompers on turn that subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think and like because you obviously like this video whilst you had to hit the notification bell i'll see you in the next one god bless mm -hmm.